Hey, what's up guys? Back with this lesson here. Hope you guys enjoyed my cover of Ed Sheeran's What Do I Know? Now I'll be teaching it for you guys and I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so first we have this, this progression which is most of the song. So I'll play it for you quick and then I'll, I'll tell you all the fingerings and the fret numbers. So first I'll play it for you. So here it goes. So that's the first that's the first progression for the verse, for the chorus, and like the ending. So it starts right here, right on the eleventh fret, and you're gonna be playing an open E. Open E and then eleventh fret. You're gonna be doing a hammer on right under the thirteenth. Uh, like that. And then what you do is so that's gonna be with your first and third finger. Like that. And then the next is right on the 11th fret for your first finger, and then that second finger is going to replace your first finger right on the 11th fret on the, that would be the third string right here. So, so it's... And you also hit that bass note again, so bass note, hammer on. It's so gonna move that shape down a whole step. And that's gonna be on the ninth fret, right here, so. It's like that. So make sure you get that down first, uh, because this is the core of the song, so. Take your time with this. And now we go, now we go to this, we go to first finger on the seventh fret, and then we have your third finger that is right in the eighth fret, right there on the third string. So you'll notice this whole time, this whole time we're just on the sixth string and the third string right here. Third string and first right here. And that's all. You know, I was adding in some open strings. I'll get to that. But so first, you're nice and slow. So now we're here. We're here to the ninth fret. So and now we go to the uh, oh sorry seventh fret. And now we're here to the fifth. And it's that same shape, just move it up a whole step. And then we go back to this shape. So this would be a minor shape, pretty much. So, right here. So this is on the uh, fourth fret here. So, so far. Very nice and slow for you. And then we go back. So that's the whole that's the whole thing. I'm gonna move back to the beginning. So now some of the key elements of this is besides the hammer on the beginning is the slap. Basically, it's a little slap. Here I'll move a little. So basically, watch watch what my right hand's doing. See, um, it's acting as a snare because it's very percussive. This song, Ed Sheeran and John Mayer do it a lot. Um, it's where you're you're hitting it lightly while you're doing it. You do it with your, it's mostly with your whole hand, just like, just like um, putting it down right on the strings. Just kind of not really slapping. It's not very forceful. Just like a little hit. Just like a little percussive sound. But you can first, I, I wouldn't move to that first because you're going to want to go slow. Just focus on this. And there is that open E. So once I do the hammer on, and I hit the open E again. Oops, sorry. Open E. Slide. Open E. Play those two notes individually. Then I do those at the same time. Move. Oops, can't see. Go here. Move. And then I slide. I slide and I'm plucking them at the same time. So. And 
And then you can add you can add the tap or the percussive sound. And then make sure you also use a metronome. So start really slow. Start like super slow if you're a beginner. And get those get those slaps right in time with that metronome. Can't even add in those little open notes. I guess I'll show you now. So these open notes, the op the open notes I was playing in the. Uh, the intro that I kind of came up with because you know it's not part of the original song, the original recording. I'm playing the open second and first strings here. And I was also doing this little hammer on. And I was adding my second finger right here on the 12th fret. So basically, that's, that's uh, what they call a double step. You know, use it in a lot of country songs, but it fits this song pretty well. So I do that in the beginning. I'm playing them as I'm, oops, sorry, playing that, so. So they make this beautiful open sound. Now I wouldn't do that for, because I think it, it sounds better if when you're singing, you don't play those notes out, but you can add them in, in the beginning and towards the ending maybe, where you're singing less, and it just, you can add that dynamic and I think that's really nice. Um, so let's see, let's move on, let's move on to, um, this would be the bridge getting to the chorus, you'd call it the bridge. So after you, after you go through, if you go through your chord pattern, the core of the song. So now after, after you get here, this would be, um, that'd be the, uh, B major actually, this would be a B major chord. So after you get to the B here, this is right on the ninth fret. If you get here, now we go quickly. This is a quick little progression, like. So that is, um, we go right to the fourth fret. Fourth fret is a quick little transition that gets you um, to the fifth fret quick, so. And then we go to the ninth fret. And we do that little hammer on again. So dun 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 So slowly it's So that part is a little bit tricky for the slapping, so basically or the percussive sound, so. And then you're gonna wanna slap down here, so after slap, and then pluck, pluck on the ninth fret, those two notes, and then slap again, so. It's hard to play slower, but I'm trying. So, that second slap. So it's like right before. It's like a millisecond right before you go to the nine. So that's right here. It's you're plucking that three times. So that's. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then you, you can smack down and then go back to the beginning. So that's your bridge parts. Um, that's where he goes like, uh, um, after he goes into it, then he's like, uh, I'll paint the picture, let me set the scene. I know I'm awful people following the dream. So that's that's the middle verse, but you get the picture. So I had to really practice that. That took uh, about like a you know month just because you know if I dedicated all my time to it, but I was doing a couple other songs too. So, uh, but yeah, if you just you know you got to practice. It. It's hard with the percussive for that part, adding the beat in. But that's the key of the song. So and it's good practice for a lot of the songs. If you like Ed Sheeran, which 
sure you do if you're looking at this lesson. A lot of his songs incorporate that, so. Uh, better learn to know. You can use it for all his other songs. All right, and then after that, um, let's see what other parts. Um, actually, those are the those are the two parts that you need to know. But uh, there are some parts where it cuts out, so where you stop playing the chord. So this is this is going to be on the third verse. So um, when he goes like. Uh, I'll paint the picture, let me set the scene, you know, the future's in the hands of you and me, so let's all get together, we can all be free, spread love, on, love, wait, it goes, love and understanding, positivity, really he doesn't play anything, so it's like, love and understanding, positivity, they cut that out in the mix, in the recorded version, but I kind of like, I play it, if you can see here, so after I goes, Love and understanding positivity. I kind of do a little. I'm picking, I'm, I'm palm muting it. Well, I'm muting it actually with my left hand, so I'm not palm muting it. So I, I just hold it there, and I'm muting the strings. And then what I'm doing, I'm kind of just mimicking um, the rhythm of the, uh, the melody, the, you know, his words, so. Love and understand the positivity. Kind of something like I'm doing it. You can fill it in, or you can just like leave silence there. I just kind of like to pick it. You see? Um, but yeah, it goes. Love and so it cuts, and it's just it's a quick little thing. So four five. That's what I do on that part. And um, the final part. This is the ending. So he's going like. Um, uh, what do I know? Love can change the world in a moment. But what do I know? Or actually, love can change the world in a moment. But what do I know? Yeah, that's the love can so love can change the world in a moment. But what do I know? So you don't play. You don't go to the. Uh, the ninth fret. So after you go through this, um, love can change the world in a moment. But what do I know? And then he ends it there, the mix, and that's what I do. You know, you just kind of so you go through this. And then you just stop it, so you just hit that twice, and then it's just, you can do a final, a final little percussive hit, and then you stop the song, you can go to it, if you want to end it there, like, but what do I know? But I, I choose not to do that, I just chose to end it like the mix, because I thought that sounded good, so it's your choice. Um, that's all the parts, so uh, thank you guys for watching my video, make sure you hit that that like button and check out my cover if you didn't if you just went to this video but uh otherwise thank you for joining me i hope i didn't say um as much i know uh yeah that was torturing me when i watched that video so but it was my first time so you yeah, know what can you do all right but thank you guys and have an awesome day bye